Hi, I'm Captain Monty Graham with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. We've been having some great weather. Winds are coming down. We've been working uh, the edges of the rocks coming towards the jetties. Live croaker for trout early in the morning. Freelining has been the ticket. Uh, if you get some manhaden and cut them manhaden in half and use about a two ounce weight, drop them straight down out here at the end of the jetties. Uh, north and the south end. We've been catching slot reds. We've been catching bull reds out here. First thing in the morning, though, it's been trout on croaker or live shrimp, if you can find live shrimp. Uh, also, there have been tarpon rolling at the end of the jetties. Uh, there have been a few of the Spanish mackerel showing up. So there have been good fish all around the jetties right now. On them calmer days when you can get out, We've been running out here to the surf. Uh, been running down a couple miles and getting working in this second gut with uh, live croaker uh, has been the ticket. We've been catching our trout. And if you'll go in and find that bait and uh, get up here real shallow up in the first cut and throw it up on the beach as close in there as tight as you can, there have been some good reds. Uh, it's been all the way from Port Aransas all the way to Cedar Bayou. With Cedar Bayou being open, uh, the fish are going in into, uh, into Cedar Bayou. So those of you that like to fish Cedar Bayou, there's a lot of fish coming on the inside right now. But we still got quite a few coming on the outside. Um, last week, we jumped four or five big schools of tarpon out here. All of them between 100 and 150 pounds. So those of you that like to chase tarpon, they're out here in the surf right now. Early in the morning, late in the day. You'll see them out here rolling. So um, get your favorite bait. Um, mullet has been working real well. Um, your big soft plastics have been working good. Um, big spoons have been working. So there's a lot of good fish still around Port Aransas and around the jetties right now. Those of you with them shallow water running boats. Um, man, the redfish are up super, super, super shallow right now. So you can get over here in the South Bay and get up here as tight as you possibly can without getting stuck. Uh, look for them schools of redfish. There's a lot of bait right now working all the, all around South Bay. Back here in this back little creek, uh, black drum, redfish, um, been holding up real shallow. Uh, early in the morning up here on Big Grassy, up along this edge right here with live croaker, been good numbers of trout through here. Just remember, your trout limits have changed. Uh, 17 inches to 23 inches, and you're only allowed three. So if you're catching them smaller trout, try to release them as you know, careful as you can. You know, we really don't want to kill a bunch of small trout, but it does happen. I mean, the porpoises are out there, so just try to be as careful as you can. But those of you early in the morning, uh, Hog Island. Uh, you can get on a good drift. Those of you that like to throw artificials, uh, top waters or soft plastic under a popping cork, uh, all through Hog Island right now, uh, you might catch a bunch of small ones, but there's still a lot of good trout working this area right through here. Um, also, if you want to come back over here to El Reef, uh, have you some cut bait. The tides have been out. Get them cut baits right up on this El Reef. Uh, there have been some good numbers of reds all through here. So just work that work that reef all the way down. Uh, been good fish through there. Also, if you come back through Moore's Cummins, this time of the year that the black drum will come in. If you get your trolling motor and get up high on your high up on your platforms and look for them black drum. Uh, there have been a lot of good black drum coming through uh, Moore's Cummins right now. Uh, also, if you come back out. Of Corpus Christi Bayou, early in the morning, live croaker. Uh, the trout has still been out here all down uh, Trailer Island, Big Bayou, getting that three foot of water and throw in, throw in as far as you can. Live croaker, uh, pop it a few times. Try not to drag your baits because you will drown them. But all down from Corpus Christi Bayou all the way down to Trout Bayou, been holding good trout. First thing in the morning, uh, still them trout are coming in uh, right out here in front of Harbor Island. About three foot of water. It seems like that's the magic number. If you can get in that three foot of water and throw in, 
Uh, live croaker's been the ticket, but uh, all the way down, it's been holding good fish. Um, then as the day heats up, uh, the black drum have been down here in this Y channel. If you'll just kind of take your time, lead head with um, dead shrimp, and look for that school. There's a lot of muddy water. Uh, as the sun comes up, you can really see the school itself. Uh, those of you in those shallow water boats, you know, them redfish are up tight, tight, shallow, shallow right now. So all around uh, Brown Root Flat, been holding good fish. Uh, just You got to just take your time and work it slow. You'll find the bait. Uh, you'll find the school of reds. Uh, cut mullet and cut manhaden has been the ticket, but um, just be careful. Tides are out low, low. Even the outside has been working real well. Uh, you can come back out after you get done looking for your drum and work the, the outside. Just get up real tight, and you'll find the bait, and you'll find them redfish. If you'll come on down into the sailboat. Uh, sailboats also had some black drum. Uh, I've been using just a lead head and buying dead shrimp and going through there real slow with my trolling motor, and I'll actually see the school of fish. I mean, you might see 50, 60 fish. You know, if you can get get a few fish out spooking the school, and if you got more than one or two people on the boat, have one of them keep their eye on the school. That way you don't lose them because once you lose them, then you got to start all over and try to find them again. So the key is, is have somebody always watching that school. You know, uh, teach somebody how to find how to find them and keep their eyes on them. If you do that, you can fill a box. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Monty Graham.